So would you take a look at this? Yet another young English prospect rising on the horizons. Who would have thought? The 16-year-old attacker that is currently doing bits for Fulham in their youth academy, as well as England at youth levels, and also making two Premier League appearances in the process too. Therefore, making quite a name for himself in London. So much so that the European champions Liverpool are interested and are most likely going to be signing up the youngster in the summer transfer window. So considering he isn't in FIFA yet, and this is probably going to be our first glimpse of him before he gets added into FIFA 20, we've gone ahead and created the English youngster in FIFA 19, put him into Liverpool to see how he'll perform, grow and develop over the course of a few simulated seasons in career mode. So let's take a look, shall we? We've gotten comments, DMs, everything under the sun requesting this guy. You Fulham fans, you England fans, and maybe even a few of you Liverpool fans have been requesting this growth test. So here we are today delivering. So here he is in all his glory in the player creation center. We've gone ahead and put him into Liverpool straight away. Of course, first name, last name, Harvey Elliott. He can play as either a right winger or left winger, which is a current trend among all these wonder kids we've created in these growth tests. A lot of them are wingers and attacking minded players, but his main position is the right wing. But of course, in the creation center, you can't create a right winger. It has to be a right midfielder. So we've gone ahead and put him as a right forward. His number in the Fulham Academy is 56. So there he is, Elliott 56. His preferred foot is is left so he is a left footer and I know here we are with the birthday situation again he was born in 2003 however an issue that we've come across in these player creations is that we can only go up to 2002 so we can't even go to 2003 there that is the youngest we can make him his birthday is April 4th one day after mine absolute legend but yes his real birthday is 2003 April 4th so that is the closest thing we're gonna get to creating him spot on in FIFA 19 he is 170 centimeters tall and that roughly translates to five foot five which is a decent little size for a right winger i literally couldn't find his weight anywhere so we've just guessed that out of the blue he's got an average body type which i guess is kind of stock standard we move up to his hairstyle and yes he does have a man butt in there a trendy looking hairstyle he's got a bit of facial hair in there as well but that is the closest thing we can get to a man butt in fifa 19 he looks ready to take on the premier league at liverpool number 56 it's a bit of a weird number two bit of a weird hairstyle but we won't judge him on his looks. We'll judge him on his footballing ability once we get to that. And we've slapped him with a pair of Nike boots as that is one photo I've seen with him with these exact pair of Nike boots. We've given him the grey Nike boots there. I'm sure they're going to fit him perfectly throughout this whole simulation or when we eventually get to playing with him. But in this part, we're going to take a look at his stats in FIFA 19 career mode squad hub. So here Harvey Elliott is in career mode and this is how he ranks amongst the Liverpool youngsters and just the Liverpool squad in general. 64 over Overall, which is quite decent. It's a bit lower than what we've done these initial Wonder Kid growth tests with, but I'm expecting he's going to grow throughout this simulation as he's only 16. He has a prospect squad role in the side, which I think is fitting, and he has that potential to be special. That's exactly what you'd expect him to have if he was in FIFA anyway. But 64 overall kind of puts him a bit better than a few other Liverpool Wonder Kids at the moment, but there he is. To put it into perspective, he's just behind Bed Woodburn with a 68 overall, so not too far behind the rest of the pack still a lot of years to grow and develop at 16 years of age but we're going to take a look at his stats here now he's got the three star skill moves three star weak foots medium medium work rate which seems to be the norms with a lot of creative players but the three star skill moves three star weak foot is very very consistent from him his stats are not too crazy not too good just in between we didn't want to make him too overpowered not too much game time not too much experience in the premier league so we've kept things a little tame here 69 acceleration 68 agility 60 7 balance and 70 sprint speed is his highest in the physicals. 44 jumping and 44 strength are his kind of downsides. He is kind of small. He is kind of underdeveloped so you wouldn't expect him to have too much strength on him nor jumping because he's short but 64 reactions and 62 attack positioning is alright. And another 70 stat, ball control in the 70s as well. Crossing is decent. Curve out of 62. 66 dribbling and 62 finishing. Heading accuracy you know, goes alongside the jumping not really that great. Defending not all too great but that doesn't really matter 66 short pass 58 long pass and 62 volleys on the youngster and that is going to be him hopefully we can see him grow and develop we're not going to do any training this time i know a lot of people weren't a fan of the training back when we did diego martinelli so we're all gonna leave it up to organic growth here. he's a right forward like i said he can't play right wing left wing just keep that in mind he is worth just under a million pounds 950k we're gonna see how much that can grow throughout the seasons as well and just see if he's 
ever going to fit into Jurgen Klopp's system here at Liverpool? When is he going to start breaking into the starting 11? This is how the side looks with him in the actual team. I doubt he's going to get any game time in season number one, but obviously that should be going up as the seasons go along. We're just going to have to wait and see what the future holds for Harvey Elliott here at Anfield. I'm sure he's going to prosper for the Reds in the future, but in FIFA 19, will that be the case? Let's go ahead and find out. Season number one, let's get it underway. So we're one season in at Liverpool here, and it hasn't been exponential growth, but it's been growth nonetheless. With a plus four to Elliott's overall, making him now at a 68, 17 years of age, and he has that potential to be special still, so that's good to see. There was no game time this year whatsoever, so he must have grinded it out in training, grown organically, but yeah, it would have been cool if there's like an under 21 thing in career mode where they don't have to be in the first team, they can get game time at youth level, but unfortunately, that is not the case. We're going to have to deal with a little game time for a few years until Elliot gets a bit better in terms of his stats and attributes. We're going to take a look at the stats that did go up this season, and they are important ones here. Acceleration, sprint speed, very needed for a wing, as well as agility that's gone up. Reactions and visions are very key as well as we move on to his technicals, and every single one except volleys has gone up. Plus 11 to finishing, which is really, really interesting there. Plus 4 to ball control, and plus 6 to short pass, making them the only 3 green stats he has at the moment, but of course, he's still only 17, so he's got a lot of time, and his value's gone up 100%. That is what we want to see. Up to a 1.9 million pound valuation. Surely that is going to skyrocket within the next few seasons. Still was kind of heartbreaking that there was no game time for him. But the grind continues for the English Wonder Kid. Let's see how he gets on in Season 2. So it's pretty much same thing, different season here for Harvey Elliott. Plus 4 to his overall yet again, which is no doubt decent growth for Season number 2. Now that he's 18, still has potential to be special, which is good to see. But the thing that is worrying here... Zero game time, and I know we can't send him out on loan or do anything like that. It's just demotivating to see that he's not getting any game time under Jurgen Klopp so far. Hopefully that'll change in season number three. But now he's cracked the 70s in overall. We're going to take a look at his stats, see what's going up, and it's acceleration, balance, and sprint speed, which are decent stats to see there. Attack positioning also, and then we go into finishing, and now short passing are his two dark green. Short passing is now his number one stat. 79 ball control going up. Pretty much all the technicals, plus 12 the heading accuracy for some reason. I do not know why, but then a plus 10 to long shots as well. So big improvements there in the technicals. Now we just need a bit of game time to go along with it as well. He's now valued at 6 million pounds. It's a plus 215% increase on last season. So we're going to have to see where season three takes Elliot. Hopefully it translates into some game time and some more growth to his overall on stats. But yeah, season two, not really one to remember. All right, so this is definitely a first for one of these Wonder Kids in career mode. It is three seasons in a row consistent overall growth with a plus four plus four and plus four a plus 12 growth in three seasons i mean that's 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 pretty good that's not bad but we've seen one kids grow quicker than with harvey elliott here a plus four this season in season number three still has potential to be special he's very happy at the club he's in okay form let's see if his game time has changed at all this season and yes that is a bit better from the 19 year old english winger now with 48 appearances after no appearances in two seasons number three has completely completely turned it around. I ended up selling Salah and Shakiri in order for Elliot to get more game time and it's proven to have worked here. So I'm glad that has worked out. There are 8 goals in the Premier League. Got 16 goals overall in all competitions and 1 assist to show for it as well. I'm very proud of pretty much his first full season at Liverpool where he's gotten a decent amount of game time. Nearly 50 appearances at 19 years of age is astounding numbers. As we move on to his attribute growth and stat boost in this season and he's got a plus 3 in acceleration agility balance also got upgraded sprint speed as well stamina going up which is good to see as we move on to the technicals and it's every single stat besides slide tackling which is what you want to see anyway 92 short passing and 92 finishing going in there as well with a big plus 11 and a big plus 8 a big plus 11 to long shots too and ball control is at an 85 so he's looking to be a nice little winger on the right hand side for Liverpool and we go into his valuation he's still only at 17.5 million a plus 133 percent on the Englishman and he's still getting 9k a week we're gonna sign him up on a bit of a brand new contract 64k a week for the 
19 year old and there you have it ready to get straight into season number four let's see if Harvey can push expectations in his fourth stint at Anfield so I don't believe my eyes here at the moment in season number four Harvey Elliott's become a Premier League champion with Liverpool it's taken him four years it's taken Liverpool even longer but they are now champions of England by a comfortable 11 points brilliant stuff for the English youngster but the trophy list continues as Liverpool took out the Carabao Cup up against Swansea 1-0 so it was the domestic double in season number four for young Harvey Elliott let's take a look and see how he's grown and developed this season how many games has he played? He's gone up plus three, so he's least amount of growth yet. He still has potential to be special, though, at a 20 years of age. Very happy at the club. He is in good form. So now let's take a look at his game time this season. It's gone up to 50. He's gotten 12 goals and two assists to show for, and that is a very respectable attack and output from the youngster. And now it's two back-to-back -back seasons with solid game time and decent and a decent goals and assist ratio. We move on to his stats now. As you can see here, plus five to sprint speed is the main one there, making it. 80 to a dark green stat alongside balance agility and acceleration but we go to the technicals every technical stat going up except long passing there we've got a few dark greens no 99s just yet it's slow and steady stuff with Elliot here but slow and steady does win the race at the end of the day he's got something to prove here at Liverpool we can't doubt the Premier League champion and his value's gone up 82% upon last season up to 41 million pounds and surely now he's developed himself as a starter at Anfield Surely season five can only bring bigger and better things for the English wonder kid. The sky is the limit for Harvey. Let's take a look, simulate into season five and see what he can accomplish. And now it's actually good and happened not once, but twice. Back to back champions for Liverpool. That is the Harvey Elliott effect, my friends. 85 points in the league, four points ahead of Arsenal right behind them. Two years in a row, English champions. They did manage to get to a European final though in the Champions League. They lost out to Real Madrid just like a few years ago. This time, it was 5-4 on penalties, so Harvey Elliott couldn't get his hands on a Champions League medal, unfortunately. And that's where Harvey Elliott ranks in the squad pretty much overall base. He's one of the elite players at the club now, although he's got a few players in his way. He's now at an 87, a plus 5. Better growth in the past two seasons. It's overall improvement for the Englishman, now at a 21 years of age. that has potential to be special status. is still on him as well, and he's very happy at Anfield. Now we move on to his stats. It's a record-breaking 60 appearances this season 17 goals and four assists we need to get those assists up but the goals are showing he did get 11 in the premier league five in the champions league this time and one in the carabao cup and he's pretty much become a liverpool regular starting week in week out that's what we've wanted to see it's taken five seasons but now we've finally got some results and they've been satisfying now we move on to his attributes we've got a few 91 sprint speed now with a plus nine there bit imbalanced stamina hasn't gone up all too much which is unfortunate to see acceleration now at an 82 first 99 stats 99 ball control 94 dribbling 98 finishing this technical area is looking stupendous should i say but dark greens greens and some yellows in some areas that he doesn't really need it long passing free kick accuracy and penalties taken five seasons he's got his first 99 trait and it's ball control he's still quite a bit away from that 100 million pound valuation but 74 million he's currently worth 80 percent growth upon last season and we're gonna see in season number six can he hit that elusive 90 overall we're gonna have to wait and see how he does in this side but this is how liverpool are lining up six seasons into career mode with harvey elliott down that right hand side it's a tasty side however can they replicate their success in the sixth season can elliott get to that 90 let's go ahead and find out so it's taken six seasons but harvey elliott has developed himself here at liverpool into one of the world's best players as you can see by his status there he's very happy at the club he's in good form and he's still only 22 years of age a plus three this season means he finally gets into the 90s he's broken 90s and he's pretty much one of the best players here at Liverpool it's good to see the youngster fulfilling his potential but yet another season with high appearances proving that he's not getting too many injuries Liverpool are playing him a lot he's getting 48 appearances in there 12 goals and five assists decent numbers for him out on the right hand side one thing that he has shown in the game time he's gotten he's been very consistent in his output as we take a look at his attribute growth this season now has 99 sprint speed stamina is still quite low at a 69 however 99 sprint speed is very exciting to see there as we go into his technicals 
Though a lot of 99s in here, shot power's gone up. Heading accuracy for some reason gets a plus 13. Don't know how that's happened, but he might have been practicing his headers in training. Long shots up to a 97, dribbling at a 98. He is looking absolutely mouth-watering to play with, which is what we're going to do next. However, he's worth 97 million pounds, a plus 31% increase upon last season. We've signed him up on a new contract, and it has a 288 million pound release clause. There might be a few clubs willing to pay that, but that is a lot of money for the young Englishman. However, over the season, he did pick up the Community Shield, winning 2-1 against Spurs, and that was pretty much it for this season. No Premier League, no Champions League, no FA Cup or anything, just the Community Shield for Liverpool. Oh, I was wrong. They did end up winning the Cairo Cup, and guess who? It was the Spurs again, 2-0 at Wembley. There's a thing with this Liverpool side and Harvey Elliott at Wembley, which they just clutch out these wins and get some silverware. So that's two trophies to Harvey Elliott's name in his final season. We're going to go ahead and play a game with him next, see how he goes in game, see how he plays see if we can get a few goals with him maybe a few assists maybe go on a few skill rounds we're gonna have to find out let's jump into this match with Harvey Elliott so it's the next season opening day of the Premier League and we're away against Aston Villa obviously they were recently promoted in real life and now we get the chance to take him on here with Harvey Elliott. He gets a chance to shine at Villa Park. And as you can see there, we've made him the captain of this Liverpool side. So I'm keen to see how the captain plays. As you can see, he's still quite short there. Hasn't grown any stint at Liverpool. But it should be one interesting match. And that's how we're going to be lining up today. Obviously, Elliott in that advanced right attack and roll. Let's kick this off. Valverde. He can find Elliot down this right-hand side. He feels absolutely electric with his first few touches. His first run onto the ball. He's going to give it into the middle to Bobby Firmino. And what has gone on there? The Aston Villa defense absolutely starstruck. And Elliot gets his first assist. Pretty much his first involvement in the match. And he's absolutely done their left back there. Cut inside. Found Bobby Firmino. And it was simple as 1-2-3 for the Reds. Valverde into Elliot. Surely he can get a shot away here. Harvey Elliott takes a shot on first time and it just goes wide. It took a few deflections as well through the process, but the number 56 can't get a shot on target. Oh, Bobby Firmino can find him though. He's made a he's made a nice little run here. Harvey Elliott, he'll beat a few defenders. Oh. Penno, are you kidding me? That's the softest penalty I've ever, ever seen given. Aston Villa should feel like they've been robbed there. Elliot was in the box. He clearly got the ball. And I think that was a bit of a dive from the Englishman. However, we're going to give it to him though. He won the penalty. He's going to take it. The left footer. The captain. The number 56. Surely he can slot this one away. And no, he's not going to. Harried away from the Villa keeper. And maybe that's a bit of justice. Come on. Yes. Firmino. Through to Elliot, use that pace, son. Come on, redeem yourself here. And he's done so. He's got his goal. He's got Liverpool the second. And the number 56 is on the scoreboard here at Villa Park. Showing his pace, showing his class, and showing his composure here away from home. The captain simply leading by example. And just look at that electric first touch. Slots it past the keeper in net. And Elliot gets his goal. Elliot. Oh, little hill to hill. Can work his way around. He can go for a finesse shot. Why was that so delayed? But it's worked in the end. In the 58th minute, he's got his brace of Villa Park. And he will take a bow in front of the travelling Liverpool supporters. I don't know why it took so long for him to take that finesse shot. But it seemed to trick the Villa defence and the goalkeeper. The ball travelled behind him. But he shows his finishing class there. Left foot finesse shot outside the box. Simple as you like. World class from the right winger. Come on. He's still got the pace. He might not have the stamina, but he's got the pace. He's going to cross it in. It is going to be Cater in the middle. And how has he missed that one? He's going to make another run. He's got the pace on him. Oh, he's been taken out. And that is a big hit on him. And it's a red card for the defender. Could have broken his legs there. So that is going to be the end of the match. It couldn't be Hattrick Hero Harvey in the end. Unfortunately, he only got two goals and one assist. Still a decent outing from the wonder kid from England. Still a decent outing for that man, Harvey Elliott. Seven attempts, two goals. And of course, the English captain, the number 56 for Liverpool. That is going to be the end of the growth test, guys. If you didn't enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe down below for some more FIFA 19 career mode content coming at you. And even some FIFA 20 stuff. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Turn on the bell as well. What do you think the future holds for Harvey Elliott? What potential is he going to have in FIFA 20 career mode? What overall is he going to have in FIFA 20 career mode? Let me know down below. I hope you did enjoy. I've been BCHD and I'll see you in the very next video.